The Colmix X06 comes with a large um, helical mixing paddle as standard. This is fantastic paddle for blending uh, dry ingredients, blending wet ingredients. It can mix uh, coarse aggregate based mixes and it's great for stirring in your ingredients um, to incorporate all the wet and dry ingredients and get them blended. It's a, it's a very efficient uh, tool, uh, mixing paddle, but when it comes to mixing GFRC, um, it does have one shortcoming, and that is it lifts the material as it spins. I'll turn the trigger slowly so you can see. As it rotates, it wants to lift the material up, and that's what makes it so efficient at blending and mixing. But GFRC needs high shear mixing to fully incorporate the material, and that's discussed on our website. And if you're using this mixing paddle um, at high speeds, it tends to lift the material out. And when you're, when you're high shearing your mist coats and when you're high shearing the material before you incorporate fibers, the mix is rather fluid and it tends to splash. And when you're spinning this blade at high speeds, the efficient angle of this tends to lift a lot of material and it will literally throw it out of the bucket. So what I found is that this paddle, straight sided this is the uh, 140 we're going to be replacing it with a 160 which is a larger diameter uh, footprint this style blade um, because it doesn't lift the material it just flings it outwards uh, these vertical sections shear the material extremely well and you can spin at full speed the full speed of this tool at high speed and get excellent shearing and mixing action so this is great for high energy shearing and this is excellent for uh, low speed blending and mixing. Um, if you're just making uh, an aggregate based mix or small, uh, small samples, uh, you really only need this one. But when it comes to making GFRC, I believe this head is essential to make high quality GFRC. And I'm going to show you that in the next few minutes. The X06 comes with a quick disconnect feature, which is a toolless um, change. They all use a hexagonal shaft with a quick disconnect feature. Um, you literally just push it in and it locks, pull back on the red collar and the paddles change out. So it's very, very simple to go back and forth between the larger paddle and the smaller one. Uh, this probably took five seconds or so. Um, so it's very, very effortless and easy to change paddles back and forth. It also makes cleaning a whole lot easier. You don't need a wrench, you don't need a screwdriver, you don't need a, um, you know, a drill key that pinches your fingers and, and always comes loose. Uh, this does not come loose ever until you pull that collar and it's very, very easy to change the paddle. So there's no reason not to have both. Because I'm starting to mix some ingredients, I'm going to start with this, the helical head. Uh, some people call it a spiral head, but uh, it's technically a helical head. it's lifting the material up and I'm not even going at full speed. If I go any faster it's going to start throwing material out of the bucket. So this is where the other head comes in handy.
cleanup is very, is very easy if you have a wash bucket right next to your mixing station. Swap heads, switch from low speed to high speed. It's a simple matter of turning the uh, speed selector. So this is spinning much faster. Notice how there's no material being thrown up. It's all being thrown out against the walls of the bucket. Very efficient mixing, very high shearing. Uh, very, does an excellent job at incorporating all the loose powdery materials and getting a very homogeneous blend. By keeping the blade near the wall of the bucket, I get additional shearing action as the blade moves very close and smears the material against the wall of the bucket. Very, very effective mixing. And that's it. So the Colomix mixer with the uh, straight-sided paddle and the helical paddle that it comes with. These two are both essential tools for mixing high quality GFRC or for other types of concrete.